Welcome to Get Active TV's programming this Wednesday evening. It is, of course, evenings with John and Duncan. So glad to have you here this evening. And uh, it's Wednesday, so we, of course, have the Wednesday report where we look at everything that's been happening in social media in terms of what the Team Singapore athletes and just sport personalities in general, what they've been doing this past week, John. That's right, Duncan. We look at all things trending online in the Singapore sports and fitness world, basically. Yeah. So, John, my question to you is, what is round, what bounces, and what comes in all sorts of sizes? I don't know. My dad's tummy after a dinner? I think all our tummies <laughs> after sampling Watcher Cooking's uh, food at the studio over there. But it's also balls that come in any kind of sizes. And that is the theme of today's Wednesday report. Interesting. Well, let's have a look at the first one, shall we? Yep. And it's, of course, tennis. And uh, we have this from Stephanie Tan and Chi Jun, who are bouncing a tennis ball on the frame of their rackets. Very interesting stuff. We did have quite a few of the tennis athletes from uh, the WTA Future Stars yeah. do this uh, a few years back, and it is very tough. It's a lot tougher than how it looks right now that's being done by them. Of course, Stephanie Tan being Singapore's top seeded uh, women tennis athlete yeah. while she was still playing, and then um, even Chi Jun being a former national athlete as well. <laughs> Of course, not just tennis racket uh, challenges that we're seeing at home. Also, other racket sports such as squash, Duncan. Yeah, I mean, everyone's trying their own kind of challenge. And now the Singapore squash team keeping themselves entertained as well. And they are doing the squash challenge. And it's just great to see all the different national sporting associations interacting, using social media during this period. It's interesting to see how, in spite of the fact that everyone is more or less stuck at home, how they're making use of the opportunity to really express themselves creatively. Not just doing training or workouts per se, but really coming up with the most interesting ideas.
course, speaking of balls, balls and balls again, it's not just racket sports, we also have basketball. Stay home with the slingers, it is called. And our own very Singapore slinger basketball players doing their part to send out a message in a very interesting theme. And it's all about passing it on, right? This is the theme of what we're going to see today. Taking a ball, doing a little bit of skill and passing it on and then getting someone else in a different household to just carry on the challenge. I think this is something that we really enjoy watching and of course it's very humorous and it's just just nice to see. brings a smile to our face during this period. not limited to basketball as well we are also seeing football mm. being passed around all of Singapore both from the AFA Great to see all the players enjoying themselves, passing the ball around all of Singapore, both mm. for football and basketball. Not to forget to mention, of course, during this period, you can catch live tutorials by coaches from all of Active SG's academies and clubs between 5 to 6.30 on Get Active TV. And I like also seeing that the, the little kids as well doing their part and then their videos are getting posted online as well. So great to see the little ones getting involved of course, with Lion City Sailors, you're seeing stars of the present with the Active SG Football Academy coaches. I mean, household names of Singapore football from the past. So, past and present doing their part to entertain and drive home a message during this period. Yeah, and Duncan, actually, I'm very curious to find out what our viewers are doing this period to keep themselves entertained at home. So, if you do have interesting content that you're posting at home during this period, whether it's TikTok, whether it's workouts, whether it's skills challenges, sports related or even otherwise, do share them with us. Um, if, whether it's in comments or if you're a little shy, you can send them over to us over private message. We definitely want to see some of those. And if you're lucky, you never know. It may just be featured in one of our Wednesday Report episodes. Now, another way to keep yourself entertained is the Don't Rush Challenge. And that is a perfect example of what the Team Singapore Artistic Swimmers did. Now, this is the one where you take the little makeup brush and then you do it on yourself and then you put it on the camera and then you come out to be this little beautiful swan after that. Obviously, for me and you, no matter what amount of makeup, it will never <laughs> be able to help us. We are a lost cause at this moment. But this is what the Team Singapore Artistic Swimmers were up to. Let's have a look.
Fantastic stuff by the Team Singapore Artistic Swimmers. And John, he was a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy, in the words of Avril Lavigne. But this time, it is the skater girls. What is all that about? Former national skater. Also tied down by the current situation, not, not having much space to practice her skating. Yeah. But she's making the most of it, judging by these two clips, where she's just basically going in circles. So let's have a look. <laughs> So that was she just banging into anything and everything in her bedroom. And last week we saw Sidney Kuma and his daughter doing a reverse dad bod workout. Is that what it's called? And this week he has another addition. Yes, that's right. Of course, uh, Sydney in a very desperate attempt to continue on his workout routine, he has come up with a series of workouts that you can definitely follow. All dads, it doesn't matter, all shapes and sizes, all physical abilities, you can definitely check out this workout. And this is Sydney Kuma. Jenna, are you ready? Come. Alright, after the jogging on the spot, first exercise we want to get to is a weighted sit up. Weighted sit up. So, as usual, say hello, everybody. Say hello. Sit up, sit up position, wait comfortably on your stomach, and Second core exercise we're going to do is a Russian twist, which if you remember is a crowd favourite. Russian twist, okay? Sit up. So same thing in a crunch position, with your weight, say hello. With your weight, and then move side to side. Side, we've got side to side lunges, uh, low body focus. So here we go. Ready? Okay, uh, fourth exercise we have a deadlift. So perfect for dads, moms trying to pick up their babies. Make sure you have a good position, feet wide apart. Okay, bend your back, arms straight, and then lift. Down. Okay, ensure that you're you're not just uh, arching your back. Okay, so you don't you don't uh, squeeze your toes. Alright folks, last one. Uh, last one for the day. Simple plank. Okay. Great core and total body uh, workout to useful to finish off with uh, these type of exercises. So here goes. Try to do it for 30 seconds at least, depending on uh, how comfortable you are. Ready?
safe. Take care of yourselves. Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> See you guys next time. A big part of this circuit breaker and the additional measures, sadly, is no more bubble tea. Um, no more bubble tea shops being open, John. And are you a fan of bubble tea? I'm a joint. I'm a, I'm a massive fan. I'm a massive fan of of bubble tea. Uh, you know, the pearls. You can have the different kind of coconut yeah. jelly, the yeah. aloe vera. To continue with today's themes of things being round, of course. Things being round, tons, exactly. Round I did not think of that. Going but you brought circles it in. and it got bubbles. And it's bouncy <laughs> as well, I think. Bouncy as well. Who knows? I haven't tried it yet. We should try bouncing some pearls. That 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 would really work. So anyway, bubble tea. <laughs> we are everyone's desperate in Singapore for BBT. I think that's what it's called now. I did not know that there's an acronym for it. It's BBT. Did you know that? Well, I did not know. I don't even know it's a thing. But I just saw it uh, online. And uh, our very own Kelly Latimer, obviously from the Morning Show with Kelly and Barbara, a good friend of ours. And her daughter came up with a way of creating their own DIY bubble tea. Have a look. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Do Like This. And what are we making today, Sienna? Boost juice. What? Bubble tea. That's right. What's this for? That's tapioca starch, and that's what we're going to use to make the little pearls. What about this one? I don't know. This is gula malacca, and that is what is going to make the bubbles taste really delicious. And do you know what this is? No. This is tea. So we've got some nice loose leaf black tea. It's from TWG and it's called Weekend in Singapore because it's the weekend. What's this? That is brown sugar. That is to make sure that our black tea is really tasty. What? What? Hello everybody. Let's make bubble tea. Okay, Sienna, the first thing we're going to do is make tea. And to do that, we need milk. We need milk. <laughs> That's right. So, I've got some fresh milk here. And we need Can one... Can I pour the milk? Yes, we need 1.5 litres. And then we pour it in here. And even our own table tennis star, Isaac Quack, obviously 13, 14 years of age. Obviously, at that age, I remember I was at the bubble tea shop every single day. Were you a fan of bubble tea, by the way? Well, I used to be one uh, until I, it became a little bit more health conscious. I know people are going to slam me for that. I know Asgag has a video about Come on. don't order bubble tea like a bottle. Why bodo. not? Why not? Be- I've just been a bit, a little bit more conscious on on my intake of sugar food. level at zero. That is exactly. the, that is a trick. And I order like this. S guy's gonna slam me for ordering bubble tea like a bodo. Anyway, Isaac Quet <laughs> also came up with his own version of bubble tea, and it's all about making the pearls, right? It needs to be the right consistency. It can't be too soft. It can't be too hard. It needs to be just right. I, I I know what you mean. I like the chewy when it's a little bit chewy, you know, but it's it's not too hard and it's just yeah. you know it's just the right texture. Yeah. I think it's an art to make bubble tea, and like you, like you mentioned, and as we as we witness with both Kelly and Isaac Quack, during this period, we may not have access to all the bubble tea in the world, mm. except for the ones that are still in hawker centers and yeah. places that sell food. But you can certainly try making your own at home. And the best way to kill off those calories from bubble tea is, of course, doing some burpees. And that's what Nurusu Haila and the Silat team, Fidaus and Fahan, have come up with. Burpees for Sayang Sayang, a great initiative. I think you need to do 10 burpees and they will donate some money uh, every time they get a video that they've been tagged in for burpees for Sayang Sayang. Just raising money for COVID-19. So that's a great initiative by the whole uh, Silat team and, of course, with Suhaila, Fidaus and Fahan. Speaking of burpees, of course, they are 
other burpee challenges going on or even workout challenges. And there's one right here by Rebel Shaker Osi, a whole, a mm. whole family of Spartans. This being a cute kids version of the burpee. And here she attempted the Youth Creates RU Game SG Challenge. Of course, one of many challenges to come from Youth Creates if you are not yet clued in. Uh, another initiative by Sports Singapore catered for the youth. It's by the youth and it's catered for the youth. I think last week we mentioned that we've been tagged in thousands of challenges. Have you, are you still being tagged in challenges? I think people have just given up on me. I've not been tagged in any recently. Well, I have to be honest, this week I, I received a lot fewer tags. Still had one or two crazy ones, especially yeah. those that would have made me fall on my face. Yeah. But I've been a lot wiser. I think I'm picking up a skill or two from you. Just don't do anything. That's the perfect skill. Yep. All right. Obviously, you know, to, to be more serious, on a more serious note, this is a, a difficult time for, for everyone with COVID-19 and, of course, Circuit Breaker here in Singapore. And it was touching that the Football Association of Singapore got players from the past, players uh, from the present, and even the FAS General Secretary, Yazin Buhari, involved in a special message for the healthcare workers. Today, as we face these trying times, we urge all of you to stay home and to stay safe. Let's all do our part. To be socially responsible and protect our loved ones. To our healthcare workers, all other frontline heroes, and everyone in essential services. We would like to say thank you for your bravery and courage. We are all in this together. Let's unite and win this fight. Because we are one team, one strong, and one Singapore. Yeah, great stuff by the Football Association of Singapore. And, you know, we've been getting a lot of queries uh, between you and me, John, about, you know, social distancing. We're keeping a safe distance, one meter apart. But people are wondering, why are we not doing the show with masks on? Yeah. Well, not all the essential services operate the same way, isn't it? You can't really compare a desk-bound job from mm. a hawker, for example, and use the same set of parameters. And broadcast services, we do need to have a different set yeah. of uh, considerations, of course, still with the same precautions because this needs to be taken seriously. Yeah. But this would certainly uh, play a very different dynamic if we were to do our jobs with our mask on. Correct. Would it? Is? So, Mimi, if you're able to get like the script ready. Mimi. Yeah. Mimi. <laughs> Mimi. <laughs> can yeah. you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you all the way over there. There, there. I'll sort out the scripts for those guys so that at least they've got the pointers. We can put it on the teleprompters. I'm sorry, what? So what? It's so hard to hear behind these things. What did you say? So hard to hear behind these things. So near? So hard. Hard. Oh, I heart you too. <laughs> well, that's our episode for... Evenings with John and Duncan. This has been the Wednesday report, John. Yeah, certainly it's uh, not exactly the same to do with the mask on, but uh, we hope that you enjoyed the show and uh, definitely stay around and watch our Friday show, which is the Athletes Game Show. And I don't know why John sounds half Russian, half Japanese. <laughs> we'll see you <laughs> on Friday. Well, stay safe, everyone. Keep your distance. Wear your mask when you head out. And of course, do plenty of workouts at home. And uh, I don't know why, but I'm starting to sound like myself again. Arigato. Arigato gotomasu.